good morning children so we were discussing uh, the last chapter that is uh, acids bases and salts so we have finished uh, uh, that chapter so uh, let us discuss some of the questions from the textbook so that is uh, the exercise part and also some other questions that is present in the textbook so uh, we can discuss uh, one by one uh, i think i have given some questions uh, uh, in uh, one of one of the class i think uh, that is uh, the first question and then page number 22 page number 22 the question is uh, why should curd and sour substances not kept not be kept in brass and copper vessels so uh, why we are not uh, why should why should curd and sour substances not be kept in brass and copper vessels so what is the reason for that because we know uh, as acids that is you know curd and uh, sour substances curd it contain lactic acid and uh, sour substances it may contain acids so these acids react with the metals and they it it corrode that substance and also it may produce some poisonous substances so it may contaminate the food it may contaminate the food and that's why we should not store these type of uh, sour and uh, curd curd and sour substances in a copper or brass vessels okay that is the reason it may it may produce uh, what it may corrode uh, it may corrode the vessel and also it it produces poisonous substances so it may contaminate the food so that uh, because of that it may leads to food poison so that's why we should not uh, keep these curd and uh, sour substances in copper and uh, brass vessels then uh, which gas is usually liberated when an acid react with a metal illustrate with an example how will you test the presence of this gas i think uh, you know what is the reaction between metals and uh, acids which gas is you, uh, is an acid react with the metal so an acid react with the metal it forms what which is the gas form that is hydrogen gas uh, example you know uh, zinc react with the hcl gives zinc chloride plus h2 zinc chloride plus h2 gas so this gas will be evolved so the when acid react with the metal it it produces which gas is producing hydrogen gas how can we test this uh, the presence of hydrogen gas uh, you know uh, already uh, one experiment is there in the textbook uh, we can take the test tube and uh, put some zinc granules add uh, dilute hcl and uh, you cover the mouth of the test tube with a cork rubber cork insert a uh, what delivery tube and this delivery tube is it is dipped in a, a beaker containing soap solution so you know when hcl uh, sorry when hydrogen gas is passing into the uh, when they are passing into the soap solution it produces bubbles and that bubbles it will evolve out because uh, you know the height that bubbles also contain what hydrogen gas and when a burning match stick or candle uh, bring near near to this uh, uh, what uh, bubbles at that time it will burn with a pop sound you know that is the uh, test to identify which gas is that okay then uh, metal compound a third question metal compound a react with the dilute hydrochloric acid to produce effervescence effervescence you know what is effervescence uh, just like froth flotation no froth uh, just like froths are coming out uh, when uh, when we open uh, carbonated drinks at that time you know uh, effervescence or when we make when we pour some uh, soda water into a, a glass you know at that time uh, bubbles are coming out that is called effervescence so that effervescence is producing when metal compound a react with the dilute hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid uh, the gas evolved extinguishes a burning candle so it extinguishes okay that gas is extinguishing the uh, 
uh, fire or burning candle. Uh, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction if one of the compound formed is calcium chloride. So, here it is given one compound formed is what? It is calcium chloride CaCl2 and A, A react with the uh, react with dilute hydrochloric acid. So, it is HCl, A react with the HCl and one of the product is what? Calcium chloride. So, and you know uh, one gas is forming, one gas is formed and that gas extinguishes burning candle. So, it extinguishes, which gas extinguishes burning candle? You know, we know uh, oxygen is supporter of combustion or and then hydrogen it burns with the pop sound. So, which is the gas extinguishes that is, uh, so uh, you know it will be uh, sometimes it may be uh, carbon dioxide. So, we do not know. So, A react with HCl and forms calcium chloride and then one gas is formed. So, what is here right the gas evolved extinguishes burning candle write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction if one of the compound formed is calcium chloride. So, that is one compound is calcium chloride. So, this should be uh, you know effervescence which uh, by treating with the HCl or hydrochloric acid which one is producing effervescence when what type of metal compound react with the acid produces effervescence. What type of metal compound react with the acid produces effervescence? So, what is that? It is it is a carbonate metal carbonates and bicarbonates react with the acid it produces effervescence that is carbon dioxide gas no that is carbon dioxide. So, it should be what here the product is calcium chloride. So, what what will be the uh, compound of calcium it will be calcium carbonate C A C O 3 because metal carbonates react with the hydrochloric acid or any acid it produces what uh, effervescence that effervescence is due to the formation of carbon dioxide is not it. So, it produces carbon dioxide we know carbon dioxide extinguishes the fire and then uh, what else C A C O 3 plus H C L gives C A C L 2 C O 2 plus H 2 O this is the reaction this is the balanced chemical equation ok. Then um, why do H C L H N O 3 etcetera show acidic character. So, the uh, page number 25 the next question is page number 25 why do H C L H N O 3 etcetera show acidic character in aqueous solutions while solutions of compounds like alcohol and glucose do not show acidic character. So, HCl, HNO3 etcetera they show acidic character why they show acidic character why because they are producing or they are when we dissolve HCl or HNO3 in aqueous solution they produces H plus ions they are producing H plus ions is not it. So, that is why uh, they are they show uh, acidic behavior acidic behavior due to the presence of uh, uh, H plus ion H plus ion react to the water and it, it forms what H 3 O that is called a hydronium ion hydronium ion. So, uh, acids like uh, H C L H N O 3 H 2 so forth they are giving they are furnishing H plus ion in aqueous solutions that is why the acidity is due to the presence of H plus ion or hydronium ion. But what about alcohol what are the other compounds alcohol and glucose alcohol and glucose they do not contain any ionizable hydrogen atom or they will not give H plus ion in aqueous solution they are not ionizing alcohol uh, one example for methanol see this is the formula of methanol even though it contains hydrogen, but this hydrogen is is it is uh, this hydrogen is not ionized they are not giving any H plus ion in their aqueous solution that is alcohol and uh, glucose are they are not giving any H plus ion in their aqueous solutions. So, they are not showing any acidic behavior understood ok. Then why does an aqueous solution of an acid conduct electricity 
this is another uh, important question. Uh, why does an aqueous solution of an acid conduct electricity? Why aqueous solution of acid conduct electricity? The conduction of electricity is due to the presence of ions, is not it? So, aqueous solution of acid they are containing H plus ions or ions are there. So, these ions are resp responsible for the conduction of electricity. So, that is why aqueous solution of um, solution of an acid conduct electricity due to the presence of ions in their aqueous solution H plus ions in their aqueous solutions. Okay. Uh, if you are giving an example HCl on ionization HCl on ionization what we get HCl we get H plus plus Cl minus ion and this H plus ion combines the water it forms hydronium ion. So, uh, this type of ionization is taking place in acid aqueous solution of acid that is why they conduct electricity. Then why does dry HCl gas not change the color of dry litmus paper? We know that the ionization is happening in presence of aqueous solutions. If there is no water, if there is no aqueous solution, ionization is not happening. And you know, uh, if ionization is happening, then only uh, you know they are showing their acidic behavior, and that is why uh, dry HCl ionization is not possible. Why? Because in dry HCl uh, there is no H plus ion. They are not forming any H plus ions, and that is why uh, they are not um, showing any color change in the litmus paper. Okay. Then while diluting an acid, while diluting an acid, uh, why it is recommended that the acid should be added to water and not water to acid. Acid should be added to water not water to acid. Why? Because you know when we add acid to uh, sorry water to acid, this acid uh, do not have any capacity to absorb you know that reaction the reaction between acid and water it is highly exothermic they produces large amount of heat energy and this produced heat energy this acid cannot absorb this much heat energy they cannot uh, absorb this heat energy uh, and that is why uh, because of that enormous amount of heat energy is produced and that may leads to uh, what bursting out or the uh, the vessel may splash out is not it may break. So, uh, and it, it may causes burn, but when we add acid to water, water can absorb that evolved heat why because uh, water ha is having specific heat capacity specific heat uh, capacity is there that is why they can absorb that much uh, that uh, evolved heat and that is why. Uh, there is no such cause uh, burning or, or uh, what breaking uh, is is not happening when we add acid to water. Okay. Then, uh, how is the concentration of hydronium ion affected when the solution of an acid is diluted? So, what is the effect of hydronium ion? You know, here here also. Uh, this H plus ion react with the H 2 O that is in aqueous solution and it produces H 3 O plus that is called a hydronium ion. So, the question is here uh, uh, how is the concentration of hydronium ion affected when the solution of an acid is diluted. So, when the solution is diluted the number of H 3 O plus ion per unit volume per you for example, when we take in a vessel uh, when we are diluting. So, H 3 O plus ions are the uh, acid solution H 3 O plus ions are there, but when we take a unit volume and in that uni unit volume number of H 3 O plus ion per unit volume decreases while diluting an acid is not it while diluting an acid number of H 3 O plus ion per unit volume decreases. So, what happens uh, the acidity or uh, it become uh, the acid become what diluted. So, 
uh, it means the acid strength decreases the acid strength decreases when we dilute uh, an acid and uh, then uh, what happens to H 3 O plus ion the H 3 O plus ion per unit volume decreases. Okay. Then how is the concentration of hyd hydroxide ion hydroxide ion affected when excess base is dissolved in solution of sodium hydroxide. How is the concentration of hydroxide ion affected hydroxide ion what is hydroxide ion OH minus ion that is called a hydroxide ion hydroxide ion uh, affected concentration of hydroxide ion, ion affected when excess base is dissolved in a solution of sodium hydroxide. So, when we uh, when excess amount of sodium hydroxide is added then what will be the concentration of hydroxide ion affected it is very simple we know uh, when we add more amount of sodium hydroxide ion we know sodium hydroxide ion they ionizes give what NaOH gives Na plus plus OH minus ion. So, when more amount of sodium hydroxide is added the OH minus ion concentration increases. So, the concentration of OH minus ion increases uh, when we add more amount of hydroxide ion. Okay. Then it means what when when more number of OH minus ions are there what about the basic strength the basic strength also increases the basic strength increases as the concentration of hydroxide ion OH minus ion increases. Okay. Then page number uh, 28 page number 28. Uh, you have two solutions. Page number 28. You have two solutions A and B. The pH of the solution A is 6. You have two solutions A and B, and the pH of solution A is 6. This is 6. And uh, the pH of B is 8, the pH value of B is 8. Then, which solution has more hydrogen ion concentration? Which of these is acidic and which of which one is basic? So, uh, which solution has more hydrogen ion concentration? Uh, we know that we have studied pH, you know, pH is pH is the what is p uh, it, it determines the h plus ion concentration h plus ion concentration when the ph value increases as the ph increases as the ph value increases what happens ph value increases h plus ion concentration concentration decreases as the pH value increases H plus ion concentration decreases it means what it means what acid strength decreases or hydrogen ion concentration decreases then as the pH value decreases when the pH value decreases H plus ion concentration concentration increases increases as the pH value increases H plus ion concentration decreases it means it become uh, less acidic or it become basic basic character increases as the pH value increases H plus ion concentration decreases basic character increases as the pH value decreases H plus ion concentration as the pH value decreases H plus ion concentration increases it means uh, the acidic behavior increases acidic behavior increases. So, here which one A and B which one is having a pH value low it is 6 here it is 8. So, as the pH value decreases H plus ion concentration is more. So, its acidic character 
will be more so it is acidic and as the and we also studied that when the ph is, is equal to 7 it is neutral and when the ph value is less than 7 this is acidic and as the ph value is greater than 7 it is basic we also studied this one so here the ph value is greater than 7 it will be basic and the ph value is less than 7 so it is acidic in addition to this you also study uh, said this one that is ph as the ph increases h plus ion concentration decreases it means uh, the acidity decreases or basicity increases and here as the ph value decreases as the ph value decreases h plus ion concentration uh, what increases it means acidic behavior increases basic behavior decreases also we know ph when the ph value is 7 that is neutral ph is less than 7 acidic behavior if it is greater than 7 they possess basic behavior ok then uh, next what effect what effect does the concentration of h plus ions have on the nature of the solution uh, what effect what effect does the concentration of h plus ions have on the nature of nature of the solution it means what uh, um, what effect does the concentration of H plus ion have on the nature of the solution. So, it means that the acidic strength the acidic strength is directly proportional to H plus ion concentration acidic strength is directly proportional to the concentration of H plus ion. So, as the concentration of H plus ion increases acid strength increases acid strength increases means uh, so, they are strong acids they are strong acids. So, as the concentration of H plus ion decreases acidic strength decreases or basic character increases ok. So, uh, it means as the concentration of H plus ion increases it becomes strong acid it becomes strong acid ok or uh, acid strength increases. Then uh, do basic solution also have H plus ions if yes if yes so this is page number uh, these questions are from page number 28 uh, is uh, third question uh, do basic solution also have h plus ions if yes then why are these basic see uh, yes uh, do basic solution also have h plus ions yes they also have h plus ions but the next, next question if yes then why are these basic why they are basic because even though they contain a basic solution also contain H plus ion they are basic in nature why because in that solution the concentration of hydroxide ion or OH minus ion is more as compared to H plus ion and that is why they are basic in nature understood. The concentration of hydroxide ion is more than H plus ion even though they contain H plus ion why they are showing basic behavior why because the concentration of OH minus ion is greater than H plus ion that is why they are basic in nature ok. Then uh, under what soil condition under what soil condition do you think a farmer would treat the soil of his fields with cuculime uh, that is cuculime you know what is calcium oxide or slaked lime what is slaked lime calcium hydroxide or chalk what is chalk chalk is a form of calcium carbonate. So, under what soil condition do you think a farmer would treat the soil of his field with the cuculime you know uh, cuculime slaked lime all these things uh, farmer uh, they are adding these things when the soil is, is in acidic nature. So, in order to neutralize uh, in order to uh, overcome or in order to uh, what uh, remove the acidity of the soil they are add, adding slaker lime or uh, cuca lime or chalk uh, in order to neutralize in order to neutralize the soil. So, 
so when the soil is acidic at that time farmers are adding these things that is laker lime or cucumber lime or chalk ok. Then next page number 33, page number 33. What is the common name of compound CaOCl2? What is the common name of the compound CaOCl2? What is CaOCl2? That is calcium oxychloride. What is the common name? Co common name is bleaching powder, that is bleaching powder. Then. Uh, name the substances which on treatment with uh, chlorine yields bleaching powder. Which name the substance which on treatment with chlorine yields bleaching powder. When uh, what uh, the substance which on treatment with chlorine which is a substance that is slaked lime or uh, calcium hydroxide is not it calcium hydroxide that is the answer. Then name the sodium compound which is used for softening hard water. Name the sodium compound which is used for softening hard water. So, we have uh, studied uh, the compounds of sodium, sodium hydroxide we studied, sodium carbonate, then uh, sodium carbonate that is called uh, soda ash, then sodium uh, washing soda is the so, in that the uses of uh, different compounds you have studied. So, among that which one is used for softening hard water that is washing soda, washing soda what is the formula of washing soda? What is, what is the formula of washing soda? Na 2 CO 3 10 H 2 O that is sodium carbonate deca hydrate, deca hydrate ok. Then what will happen if a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated? If a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated what, what is happening? Give the equation of the reactions involved. So, these reactions are also you are studying while uh, in the preparation of sodium carbonate and then uh, washing soda. In the preparation in the manufacture of that is uh, solve a process you know solve a process. So, what happens the question is what will happen if a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is what that is sodium bicarbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate on heating what we get? We get sodium carbonate plus H 2 O plus C O 2 on heating sodium carbonate on heating sorry sodium hydrogen carbonate on heating sodium carbonate and water plus H 2 O is not it. So, next one uh, write an equation to show the reaction between plaster of Paris and water write an equation to show the reaction between plaster of Paris and water. We know plaster of Paris it is highly sensitive towards uh, moisture. Uh, so, when it reacts with the plaster of Paris what is the formula of plaster of Paris? C A S O 4 half H 2 O that is calcium sulphate hemihydrate react with the water molecule that is H2O. So, when it reacts with the water molecule they converts into a solid mass as hard solid mass uh, that is that is called a, what is the name of this compound? This is gypsum. This is gypsum ok. Then next uh, and uh, the exercise part, the last part, exercise part. These are the questions from the inner side of your uh, textbook. No, um, that is uh, in between the chapter, in between the uh, you know uh, pages. You can see these questions. Then next one, the last one. 
NCRT exercise part. In that the first question, the first question a solution turns red litmus blue, its pH is likely to be a solution turns red litmus to blue, red to blue, its pH is likely to be here it is given 1, 4, 5, 10, 1, 4, 5, 10. So, the question is a red litmus to blue, a solution turns red litmus to blue, its pH is likely to be. So, red litmus to blue that is that will be what it will be a base red to blue as it turns blue it must to red is not it. So, red to blue. So, here it will be basic. So, among this which is basic it is 10. So, its pH is likely to be 10. Then a solution reacts with the crushed eggs egg shells to give a gas that turns lime water milky the solution contains dash a solution react, react with the crushed egg, cell, egg shells. What is crushed egg shells? Egg shells are what? It is a form of calcium carbonate. It is a form of calcium carbonate. So, it produces what? Uh, solution react with the, so we do not know what is the solution. Solution we do not know. It is X. Then, uh, a solution react with the crushed egg shells to give a gas. So, it produces a gas and that gas turns lime water milky. Which gas turns lime water milky? What is lime water? What is lime water? That is slaked lime that is calcium hydroxide. So, calcium hydroxide react with uh, one gas it forms what milkiness which is that gas? Yes, it is carbon dioxide gas, but uh, you know uh, uh, here which will be the solution that is HCl. So, what is the solution? It is HCl. So, HCl react with calcium carbonate, it produces calcium chloride plus H2O plus CO2. So, and that carbon dioxide gas is passed through lime water, it is not high HCl gas, it is carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas when passed through lime water, it produces what? lime water it is calcium hydroxide C A is it. This is crushed egg shells. So, crushed egg shells that is calcium carbonate. So, this calcium carbonate react with the solution. So, that solution will be hydrochloric acid or HCl. It produces calcium chloride and H2 and carbon dioxide and that gas that is the in this question that is uh, it give a gas and this gas that is carbon dioxide gas when passed through lime water that is lime water it produces milky milkiness that milkiness is due to the formation of calcium carbonate. This, this is very important because uh, uh, this type of questions may ask for uh, for your exam. You can expect this type of questions. Then um, third question, uh, 10 ml of a solution of sodium hydroxide is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of a given solution of HCl. If we take 20 ml of the same solution of sodium hydroxide, the amount of HCl solution uh, solution required to neutralize it will be 4, 8, 12, 16. 10 ml of sodium hydroxide, 10 ml of sodium hydroxide, in order to neutralize 10 ml of sodium hydroxide, uh, they need 8 ml of, they need 8 ml of HCl, HCl. Then if we take 20 ml NaOH, then how much is needed? It is very simple because uh, 20, 10 ml it needs 8 ml of HCl. So, 20 ml means it is double of this one. So, 
double of this one is also needed to neutralize this NOH. So, how much it is 16 ml. So, the answer is option D 16 ml. Okay, uh, then the rest of the uh, questions we will discuss in the next class along with some other questions. Okay. So, uh, all of you go through these questions and then work out these questions and also you should uh, write the um, uh, what uh, uh, equations chemical equations with the balanced chemical equations. Also you need to study the balanced chemical equations for these reactions. Okay. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.